Prince Royal Spiders, the kind that had taken away Odd on that terrifying night. They were the collectors of children who were to become Sixers. I always knew I was a Sixer at heart. I knew! I'll do all sorts of important work for the Queen while Bernard mops the floor. Uh, hey, where is Bernie? <gasps> Bernard is gone! <laughs> a Sixer child is missing! I repeat. <laughs> We should help him. He'll be eaten alive out here. Mm, the spider seemed impossible to get into at the moment. Oh, but perhaps Bernie would know how to get to her sister. Even knew. Come on, we've got to find him. Oh, yes, yes. Time was of the essence. I was done anyway. itself apart in a three-way civil war. A murdered father, three siblings, each suspecting the other of the deed. It's and a giant battle droid, given to each by the queen to settle the matter. Sleeve in my chest, up my nose, up me. Well, everywhere. Let's trade. Oh, hello. You've made it to Three Town, have you? Be careful here. Those triplets don't mess around. But then again, that just gives you three good reasons to buy some cars, eh? <laughs> I could ask you the same thing. 
But now we're both here, and that means one thing. Let's trade cards! Let me answer that question with a question. Who could possibly dwell on the past when we've got cards in the present? So, let's trade, shall we? <laughs> Fascinating! Fascinating! Um, where was I? The attack has begun! The king must be saved! What? Identify yourself, stranger! I am Nishka, and I'm... I'm... I... I, I used to protect somebody important, I think. A ruler, maybe? Before the war. Oh, even you sweet child. You can't keep clinging to the past. The king's dead and gone now for years, don't you remember? What? How did you know my name? A lucky guess. About what? What were you guessing about? The king! Protect the king from danger! <laughs> oh boy! Uh, I can't wait to get back home. Uh, uh, but I can't get back home without knowing the way. Or can I? Oh, <laughs> hey, mister. Uh, do you know the way to one... Uh, oh, wow. Uh, you want a hug? Or, uh, okay. Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! Wow, it's, it's pretty cold in here and, and dark, too. You want to know about the Shadow Man? You want to know about the Shadow Man? The Shadow Man comes when night eats day. He'll come and take your child away. And you might cry, and you might pray. But the Shadow Man comes when night eats day. He don't like shine, and he don't like sun. He'll come out the walls when the daylight's done. Snuff out Mully Grow Alley's lights, then you best run, for the last night of the Shadow Man has begun. Sounds to me like you're fixing to go see him. I wouldn't thank me just yet. <laughs> You want to know about the Shadow Man?
even suddenly felt like she was being watched. And to tell you the truth, I did too. boy about yay hi let me think uh, this one oh wow even is that you i'm so glad to see you can you believe that i'm stuck let him out he's mine now i won't be letting him go I believe you'd call that... Leverage. You'd think you'd know not to insult someone who's holding all the cards. Or in this case, children. Besides, you don't have what I need. Nothing you have, child. And I suspect nothing you can bring me. That remains to be seen. But perhaps you're right. I want the same thing all of us want here. Peace. I want the Triplet War to end. Oh, I'm not. I'm the creature that moves in the dark type. But people only truly fear things that move in the dark during peace. During war, they are surrounded by greater threats all day long. And so nobody fears the Shadow Man anymore. Life is the greater horror. And they have... Overindulged. Forgotten me. If you want me to give you a nod, then I want you to change that. I don't care how. I don't care about anything even. Except being feared by everyone again. I've watched you. I know you're a dice wielder. Silence! Don't insult me with your bloody lies! They may work on the living, but you can't deceive the Shadow Man. You alone carry the power to affect the arenas and those giant robots. Figure it out, or you will never see your precious Bernard or any other child I choose to take again. Without peace, there will be no boy, no hope, and you will never see your sister again. For you, there are currently more important questions at stake. Go, even. Bernie's fate rests on your tiny shoulders, and my hunger won't be held at bay forever. To save Bernard from the wretched Shadow Man, even, and to end Threedom's civil war. It was a hard task, an impossible task, but she wasn't going to let her friend die. The first thing she needed was information. Perhaps some of the locals would be willing to share what they knew. Poor woman. Completely mad. Have you seen Nishka? 
Remember you? We've spoken before, haven't we? No, I don't. I don't remember much, and I'm sorry. What did you want? Oh, with the children, the three children. They, they, well, something happened. There were sounds from his chambers. Was someone with him? I was his bodyguard, and I ran to look, and he was supposed to be sleeping, but... but... <laughs> I'm sorry, I just... it was such a shame, such a... Uh, I'm sorry, I, I forgot what we were talking about. Hello, do I know you? I'm sorry. I'm afraid... I'm afraid that these days I don't remember things as well as I used to. I have moments where I can see things so clearly, and then... Poof. But there have been times where an object reminds me of things. Holding an important artifact that reminds me of a person, or an event, that could bring it all back. Can you find these objects for me? One for each triplet. That could bring it all back. Oh! And if you could find the murder weapon that killed the king, I could remember that too. I feel certain of it. I'm sorry, find what? What were we talking about? Oh, if only I could remember! <laughs> that platform reminds me. I'm supposed to warn travelers about something. I'm supposed to say something very, very important. <sighs> oh well, it's probably fine and we should all stop worrying about it. Seeing the ease at which Dicey affected the world, even was surprised to find herself feeling a little bit frightened of him. How could someone so small and innocent contain so much untamed power? Now, even suddenly felt like she had the world on her shoulders. Could she solve the mystery of the King's murder? The Count! Ladies and gentlemen, the Count has won the roll! Someone has entered your ruin uh, castle, your grace. <laughs> I swear, it must be my bloody sister, the Baroness. Or my fancy pants brother, who thinks he's so much better than me. <laughs> Sending their assassins to smother me in my sleep. But this count is awake and ready for you! You hear that, assassins? Razor stakes with a new card! Manny's got what you need. The 
account. I love that guy.
You're here to kill me, aren't you? Help me to die? Bah! War! Have you ever marched out into a battle, little girl? I don't know, assassin school? Unlike you, mysterious interloper, I have been in battle every day in my mind. You're being obsequious. You're being kind because you want me to let my guard down and then kill me. Kids can be assassins. I've heard of it in stories that may or may not have been based on truth. End it? How can you end it when the Colossus has already moved more than once today? This war is only heating up. What's wrong? Everything! My bodyguard is dead, the war goes poorly, and then well, and then poorly again. And on top of that, Count Shmoo has been kidnapped. The third of his name, yes. He was stolen from me by the vicious Baroness, my meanie of a sister. Shmoo is like a son to me, and I haven't been able to sleep since he was taken. Do this for me, and I shall give you something. Hmm? How do you like that? Nishka, the only one I could trust besides my father. She disappeared when he was killed, but you're in no shape to replace her, child. <laughs> She was the whole family's bodyguard. She was great. Or so I thought until she let one of us, not me, kill my father. Of course. Obviously I would keep track of that. Someone took it. A little bird whispered that it's locked up in the head of the broken colossus that used to be my father's. It should be collecting ashes somewhere in the battlefield. Why? Was someone going to use it to assassinate me? Well... Good. Even if she's alive, that leaves my lands undefended and myself open to assassination. Ha! It'll never happen. So that's the deal. Find my plushie and I'll give you... Um... Hmm. Well, I don't know what I've got like that. Oh, but I do have a finger taken from the scene of the crime of my father's murder. Tis yours if you recover Shmoo for me. Deal? The Count was an odd duck. And a paranoid duck too, come to think of it. But even was now one step closer to triggering Nishka's memories. And possibly, just possibly... when you've built it with many
still don't know how to say what you want. Sir, a thousand apologies, sir, but your mid-afternoon cake was burnt in the chef's oven. A cake from me? <laughs> oh, how delightfully decadent. I'll take the whole thing. <laughs> but, sire, it's burnt to a crisp. Ooh, a new flavor I haven't experienced for years. <laughs> what an amusing diversion. Have Chef serve it to me at dinner, and if he refuses, kill him, and then yourself. <laughs> yes, sir. The Duke certainly lived in style. Oh, it was all a show. And the horrors of war did sometimes bleed through the artifice the Duke had constructed. But if he ever noticed it, he certainly never let it show. won the role. All hail her rule and her rules. You! You may approach. No, no, no. This simply will not do. That is not how you greet a duke, child. Leave and return only when you can greet me properly. Hello, darling. You're a long way from home, aren't you? No, no, darling. That's not how you address a superior. In this kingdom, whenever you meet someone of a higher station, you must always begin by saying, begging your forgiveness, sir or madam. There you go, darling. Now go on, run along. Well, I never. Look at you. You're the spitting image of an unskilled laborer. Perhaps a chimney sweep? Child, child, no. You simply can't address people this way. You must always use their titles. For example, I am to be addressed as my most esteemed lady. And the Duke is your Imperial Majesty, rightful Lord of Freedom. Without the right titles, none of us can possibly be expected to respond to you. It's a simple matter of respect. You're very welcome, little lady. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. Look at you, child. Why, you might as well be dressed in rugs. Who are you? And what brings you here? Oh no, child! That is not how you introduce yourself in conversation. You must always curtsy first. Oh no, heavens no! You want just a slight bob at the end, child. It's always so unseemly when a lady goes down too far and then snaps her head up like a... A drinking bird. Here, like this. Oh, wonderful, wonderful, yes. Perfectly wonderful. Now, what did you want to discuss? Oh, heavens, yes, I could. However, I won't. I'm much too important to be a schoolmaid to some roustabout. You! 
You may approach. Yes. So. Oh. Imagine me deigning to respond to a greeting like that. Run along, child, and leave. Yes. So. Oh. Well, well now. Finally some respect around here. <laughs> well met, Lady Evelyn. What brings you to the company of the Duke, the one and only rightful ruler of freedom today? Shmoo, the Count's dreadful plush thing? Heavens, I can scarcely recall what we did with it. The Baroness launched it into our territory a few moons back. Heaven knows why. Oh, I have no doubt. My soldiers found it during one of our training marches. I thought it would destabilize him, perhaps lead us to victory, but no. It just made him shriller. Uh, we can hear him sometimes, you know, even over the chamber music. <sighs> oh, I remember now. Uh, when I realized it was useless, I had Shmoo thrown in the cellar of the old castle dungeon. The castle is long gone now, replaced by a battlefield. But the basement may still be out there somewhere. He's yours if you want it. I have no use for something so depressingly pedestrian. <laughs> Wonderful! Remove that rubbish from my kingdom, child. Our old bodyguard? Oh, heavens, what is there left to say? She protected us until she didn't, and my dear father paid the price. I haven't heard from her since. She's dead and gone, I suppose. Oh, good for her. I should send her a cake. Only we haven't one to spare. You understand. But no, I couldn't possibly leave the castle. The horrors of war wait outside, child, and I can't have my people remembering them. No, no, out of the question. I have only your word that she's even alive, and we've just become acquainted. Then again... All right, I, in my infinite wisdom and appetites, have decided to do you a favor. I will give you something of extreme value if you will in turn do me a favor first. There is a portrait of me here. Certainly, you've noticed my beauty, my handsomeness, my regal demeanor. <laughs> oh, I am there with my father, his favorite child. However, part of the painting is missing. When we split our lands after my father died, the Count took control over the old royal nostalgia. I'm sure the second half is there, and it proves that I was father's favorite. Return with it to me, and you shall be rewarded.
of cause will <laughs> never fall down when you've built it with Manny's help. Burning daylight, even. And I don't think I like what I see. Indeed we do. But you'd better. The boy is growing cold in here. Let's hope it's time you have, young even. <laughs> <laughs> 